All right, y'all, I'm going to show you how to adjust your sliding glass door rollers. Under the door at each side, over there at each end of the sliding glass door panel, this is the sliding panel, this is the stationary panel, it doesn't move. Under the sliding panel, there are roller assemblies that the door slides on this track with. That's how it keeps it in place. <clears throat> and you can adjust it up and down. So, some of the problems you may be having where you would want to, it would call for adjusting the sliding glass door roller assemblies are a couple of things. Let's look at this one over here first. <clears throat> first, if you have a gap, you open your sliding glass door, push it to, see that reveal, that space or gap? If it is larger, if the gap is larger one at the top of the door than the bottom of the door down here, you know that it's time to adjust the roller assembly or give that a go. Another problem you may have that would indicate you need to adjust the rollers is your door latch may not be closing properly anymore. It may struggle you may struggle to lock it and it won't lock. That's not the particular problem with this lock. I've already done a video on that. Um, but it may not want to engage anymore, the throw of it. The latch itself may not want to engage here anymore because it's off. The door, the sliding panel itself is off somehow. So <clears throat> that may be a problem. The other problem you may have is it may drag. Mine doesn't, it rolls nicely. But when you try to move, open the door, roll it, it drags or resists. So you know that, one, that's not a pleasant experience when people have a hard time opening the sliding glass door. It should roll freely on the track. If it doesn't, what you do is <clears throat> you adjust the roller assemblies. It's very simple. The roller assembly on this door is right there. I want to point out that it's semi-recessed. Some are recessed into the frame. This is called the style part of the frame, the vertical part. This is called the rail and it's horizontal. <clears throat> so these adjustment screws may be recessed all the way in a hole into the frame itself. It also may have a cap on it. Don't adjust that screw. That screw is there for a different purpose. It's for the frame itself, the style and the rail. <clears throat> this is the adjustment screw. What you do is to, when you turn it counterclockwise, that way y'all, lefty loosey, righty tidy, right? When you turn it counterclockwise, it will retract the roller assembly under here, meaning it will go, the roller assembly will go up into the frame. So it will lower the door if you go counterclockwise. If you turn this clockwise, I'm not going to turn mine because I like the way it's adjusted. But if you turn it clockwise this way, righty, it will, it will raise the door. The roller assembly will push down. It's got tension on it, push down, and it will raise this door panel. So, a couple of things about that. If you ever want to remove this sliding door panel, that's the way you remove it. You, you use the adjustment screws and you turn them <clears throat> completely counterclockwise, which will again retract that roller assembly. That allows you to get the space up top to rock this out or tilt this out. But likely, if your door is... Um, resisting or having a hard time opening, sliding on this, what's called the cap, the track cap right there. <clears throat> that silver thing, we'll talk about that in a minute. If you're having a hard time opening or closing your door, sliding it, it's likely that the roller assembly just needs to be adjusted. So, and it's likely one of two things. <clears throat> it is either the frame itself right here. You see where I'm putting in that little screwdriver? You always want a gap between the track cap 
and the frame itself on the sliding glass door. If you don't have that, this part of the frame will ride on that track cap, and that's where you're feeling the resistance when you try to open it. <clears throat> if you see black marks, it's a, it's almost like, um, uh, well, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know what that is. If you see some black right there, right there y'all, right around this area, right around that area, you know that this sliding glass door is likely riding at times on this track cap. You do not want that. So what you do is, you take the screwdriver, bleh, sorry y'all, got two hands. You take the screwdriver, turn it clockwise, this way y'all, like that, to the right, and that will raise this panel up, this side of the panel up. At the opposite end of the door, if I were to open it, there are there's another adjustment screw on that side. You adjust them at both ends. I'll show you. Right there, there's the other one. So if it's writing, if this little thing, if this sliding glass door is touching that track cap, you want to lift it by turning it clockwise. Boop. That way. Right, y'all? Okay. So, now, the other issue that can happen is <clears throat> the roller assemblies in this door, over time, can get tired and give up, right? <clears throat> they become damaged from non-maintenance and that sort of thing. Okay, so here's what I think. It's good to take out these doors like every year, the slider, this one, not the stationary, just the slider panel, and look at the roller assemblies. Shoot them with a little bit of uh, silicone. Here you all go. Silicone spray, it doesn't matter what type you get. I would not put white grease on it or anything else that will collect dust or dirt. This will dry and leave a film on it and it, it just, provides a really nice lubrication for those roller assemblies. And also, because that's what I'm gonna be doing next today, putting a little bit of silicone spray on top of this track. And the way I do it is, because I don't want this going everywhere, even though it has this little nozzle that I can use, it's still, too much comes out when I spray it. So what I do is, I shake this real good, spray it a couple of times in this little container. I just keep reusing it. And I take a Q-tip. Once I put the silicone in there, and then just run the Q-tip along the track cap. And there you go. But I would, once a year, remove the slider, take it out, and take a look at the roller assemblies. And I would give them, I would clean them up and then give them a shot of silicone spray lubricant. By any brand, it doesn't really matter. So, let's talk about these track caps too, since we're here. This is a track right here to a sliding glass door. This metal piece you see here is called the track cap. You do not need to replace the entire track if you're having trouble with your track cap. Um, say that you allowed your rollers to get in bad condition and now they've been sliding on this track cap and abraded it some or, or it's damaged somehow. Simply remove the slider. You have to address the rollers and make sure they're still in good condition. If they're not, replace them. But really y'all, for the most part, they'll be just fine. You don't need to go out and buy new rollers. You just need to rehab the ones you have. If you do go buy new rollers, Make sure you remove one of the roller assemblies from the door and take it with you to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. Amazon also has them, has them, but I would go to Home Depot and Lowe's because, or Lowe's, because you have the actual assembly with you and you need to match it up with the type you're buying. There's so many different brands out there and types. So, if in the event <clears throat> something's happened to your track cap, you don't need to replace the entire cap. Are the entire track just the cap and where I would get that 
I would get that off Amazon. So Amazon will have uh, different types, but for this particular sliding glass door, it's six feet wide, they would have the option of you buying two four foot pieces, which are like uh, 16, 17 bucks. So, and you, so that sounds attractive, at getting two four foot sections because people don't want to take out the slider. The problem is, if you get two four foot sections, you have to cut it, right? And when you go to open your door, it will catch on that and jump because it's cut. That's not, it's just not a good idea. It's not hard to take out these sliding glass doors. Y'all can do it. Again, you just retract the rollers all the way, counterclockwise all the way, bring them up, and lift this out, tilt it out. So, back on the cap. Were I to replace the cap, I would get, an, it's a, a six footer, and that costs a lot more. That's probably like 55 bucks because they've got to send it in a big, a very long box. That is why the four foot sections are so much cheaper. When you get it, get the stainless steel. Don't get anything else but stainless steel. It will rust otherwise, and it won't be worth your time. So, if you've allowed your roller assembly to be riding on this for too long, it may be abraded, um, or it may be damaged, just replace this. Don't replace the whole track, you don't need to. So, now you know how to adjust a sliding glass door, the roller assembly, or the rollers, so that it doesn't drag, or you have to repair the gap over there, the vertical gap, or your lock is not throwing properly or catching properly. That's about all I got, y'all, and um, can't think of anything else to share with you. Good idea to maintenance this once a year. Take care of your door and it'll take care of you. All right, y'all, I hope this helps. Happy DIYing.